latest Power of Gamer. Today I got episode 5, which I'll show you. Night of Day 2. Episode 4 was to show what you could do with the, uh, the last off day, um, day 2. This episode is what you do when you on night of day two. Pretty much the same, pretty much similar on every night. You cook, make sure you're on your food, you need food, make sure you've got some food, take it, drink, creating things up. And now I'm going to show you what you do with, um, as well to do, do your points. Your when you do things, you start earning points, and then points could be you can spend them on anything you want, like camel, which gives you less hydration, um, so you don't have to drink so much, makes you less thirsty. So as you see, I'm going to go to points. I got 15 points. It shows up on the top and right off here. Well, I'll go show you right there. 15 points. And then 15 points you can spend on every of these you want. So what I choose? Archery. That's using your bow. Again, that was the only bow, so I'm going to spend five of my points. Five of my points of my 15 points I got. And, and then I'm going to decide what else I'm going to go for. And I'm thinking, should I spend points on these? But I use camel. 10 points for camel. So it's 10 points per out of six I think out of six and you got different kinds of of what you can spend your points on as long as you got the points you can spend on them There you go, these are all the things you can spend your points on clothing, medic, scavenging. So I'm just showing you what you spend your points on. More things you do, more points you earn. This, this is my character. He's a bit naked. The only thing I've got on is some box shorts and some a coat and a light helmet, which I I scavenged. So let's create some clothes. I'm going to create some plant clothing. Because if you see on the top right of the screen, you can see some little goals you can do. Then put uh, they're there to, if you're new at this, to help you along. You can jump ahead and Get it done. Oh. 
or you can do step by step from uh, what they show you. I'm going to show you on day three after this episode, and so episode six, I'm going to show you how you can get parts to make a mini bike. So if I got the wheels, I got a padlock and I got a battery. I need an engine, a motor, I need I need a forge and bit as well, but so I need a I would need and need to create a Ford uh, a forge so I can create Handlebars. Basket, I can get that. Um, I can collect a basket. I have to create the seat. Motor. A, I have to find one, or if it's even create one. So, for, so a mini bike will help you get around places a little bit quicker and less chance of. Zombies keeping up with you. Less stomach you use. Batteries, you can get them from cars as well. If I'm right. So, this is it. Um, top icon, it says about a bow and arrows oh I got it well now but I'm gonna create another one so while that's creating see it's gone up just mental that another I can't repair that because I don't have the bits I need to repair that pickaxe. I need forge iron, which I need a forge to make a forge iron and plus I need more iron that means I'm in day six as well I'm gonna call soon same again get wood and stone and out the stone I'll get scrap iron and that scrap iron I'll get I'll make it into iron I need more some leather so I can Create uh, bottlers. I think they're bottlers. That's helped me to create a forge, which I you will need to create create a forge. I got a pipe, a small pipe. Not so bright. They don't. Really, they're not that bright. To give you some some light but not a lot. And that's why I got a minus heart helmet. It helps. It helps me to illuminate while I'm looking. Because now I could use it without the zombies seeing likes. They get drawn to light. Ladders. I probably need just about five of these. Because as on episode four or three, I was explaining that I'm gonna. The door I'm using to get in and out of my entrance, I'm gonna take down, take away the stairs, and put ladders there. So. I can get up 
without any zombies coming up that uh, them stairs. I don't know if they can get up ladders, but what I'm planning to do is leave. I will not put a ladder at the bottom, so I'll have to do a little jump and then up. So they can't climb up. Hopefully they can't go up the stairs. But I will won't leave the bottom one. So I'll have to do a jump and then I think you will make a ditch. And on what when I make the ditch where the building is, I will reinforce the wood fire in. I'll eventually get a cement mixer and everything else so I can make it in the cement so I can reinforce it into concrete and then concrete I'll make my building a lot more secure harder for zombies to get through because after uh, night 7 whether you come hunted they will after night 7 You'll have to go around fixing all the wood, everything, because they will destroy. Which on day seven, which I'm going to show you, I'm not going to tell you now, but on day seven, I'm going to show you what you got to do. Coming up to the night part of it, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to show you what you really need to do, because they will brings you back through the door and everything else. On day six and seven, I'm gonna same again. Collect wood, collect stone, collect wood, collect stone, collect wood, collect stone. All that there, it's collecting wood and stone. And hopefully, I have a lot of iron. they get to you that's it really you're dead that's why it's called seven days to die if you don't pair in time for the night seven they'll get to you and they'll kill you but this happens every seven days so day four night or four, day 14 another horde 21 so far, so far. And it gets harder and harder and harder. They get, the zombie becomes harder, stronger. New zombies. So you gotta be very careful what you do. That's why creating a pit is a good thing. Create a pit with spikes yes wooden spikes yes fair enough they will eventually damage uh, destroy themselves but if you create iron you can try reinforce them spikes to be iron sp spikes ten times they're not going to break so easy it'll do a a lot of damage to the zombie if you feel brave enough you can what do you call it create a post an outpost so you can watch them use an arrow try to damage them kill them off bit by bit damage them before they get to the spikes and so when they fall into the ditch with the spikes the, di the spikes fringe them off but there you go the only way you find the part when you first start is in this little supermarket if you can anywhere you can find a cooker a cooker place You'd be very lucky if it's in the cooker where you choose your um, your base for. If it's a temporary or 
your opponent base. This base is only going to be temporary for the first horde. I'm going to choose a new place. It's going to hopefully be better. And I'll be, for, uh, be 4K and up and make it stronger as well. So this one here. I can come back to it, but I'll choose a new place after night 7. Because, yeah, this is kind of big. For the first, uh, really, for one person. If you're doing this online, and you're playing with your other players, yeah, fair enough, big. You want your building big enough for two, three, or four players. I just created some leather parts, leather clothes, I... That's saying I am thirsty. But there you go. We are nearly coming to the end of day uh, night of day four, at uh, night of day two, which is now we are on day three, technically, morning of day three. But you'll hear a clear sound saying it, say, it's not saying, it's a sound saying this is the end of night to do. So the zombies are not active there. They're active, but not hunting you. See, that sound is now end of night two. The beginning of day three. It's telling you day three. What I'm gonna do, I'm sorting up, putting stuff in my storage, no. So, thank you for watching my videos. If you're new, please hit that sub sub subscribe button. And I hope you enjoy this. Put a like button and happy gaming and see you later. The apocalypse.